Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, I will be covering cheat engine, pointers, um, finding values with cheat engine. Um, I'll be covering looking inside of pointers using the dissect data structure feature in cheat engine. Uh, and at the end in the second part I'll be covering writing a cha uh, trainer in C++. And a lot of, I'll be going in a lot more depth and explaining things a bit better as I go along, so let's get started. So, uh, let's say we want to find our health for our, our trainer. We want to find our health and we want to write to it in our trainer and we want to make it a nice cool value like 527. Because maybe you find 527 cool. So, we have the value 100 and we have to find that value. So you have to attach cheat engine to a salt cube if you haven't already, and let's go over a few things. This is the box where you input the value, so our value is 100. This is how we're scanning for the value. Maybe we're, lo we're looking for a value that's one more than 100. Maybe we're looking for a value that's smaller than 100. Maybe we're looking for a value that's between 0 and 100. Maybe we don't know what the initial value is, actually, or what its range is. But for our purposes, we're using exact value. Value type. We're going to assume that the value is an integer because it does not have a floating point after it, which would be 100.0. Um, if it did have a floating point after it, we would use float or double, but it doesn't. So we're going to use 4 bytes for integer. And let's do first scan. And we get lots of results, 493 results. Um, so the way that you can search for a value is you can go back in your game, you can grab a grenade or whatever, maybe your game's different, maybe you take damage or maybe you subtract from your money, whatever. But in this case for Assault Cube, I'm going to be throwing a grenade and taking a little bit of damage. Maybe on this try, throw a grenade, take a little bit of damage, right? And the new health value is 38. 38. Then you can do next scan. And there are two results here. Let's put them both in the cheat table. So, the way you can find out which one's the real in a salt cube is you can change one of them to, let's say, a higher number, and you'll notice that it actually changes. And we can test this change to make sure it's real is by taking a little bit of damage. Well, we died, but let's try that again. Let's go find that grenade again, and we can try it again. And there's our grenade. So we're going to set this value back to, this time, let's do 5,000. Simple. And we're going to throw another grenade, and this time not die. There we go. So we're down to 73 health. You see that? And so this is the real health value. This is the one we want. So we can get rid of this one. So you just right click, delete this record. And in other games, there will probably be different ways that you can find out. Um, I mean, maybe neither of the values will allow you to write to it. Maybe the game has an anti-cheat, and it'll be not so smart to write to the value. In our case, Assault Cube does not have an anti-cheat, and it's very easy to hack. That's why I'm using it in this video. Uh, so we have our address for health, and this is going to be, in the description, I'm going to put dynamic health. Right? Because after we close and open the game again, if we attach this back, this is all going to be different. This, addra this address isn't going to be the same. Well, no, it will be the same, but its value won't. Because it will change after you restart. So the way we can fix this is we can right-click, find out what writes to this address, click yes. This attaches a debugger to a salt cube. This allows us to, if we take damage or anything writes to our health value, it will show that assembly instruction, the, the assembly instruction that made that change in this window. And if you don't know assembly or you haven't used Gene Engine before, that might be a bit confusing, but you'll see once I show it. So if we take damage, the assembly instruction will show up in here. So let's go. Let's grab this grenade. Let's take a little bit of damage, right? And we see that we get an instruction, the instruction that wrote to our health here. Right away, if you've been hacking for a while, you can probably guess EAX is the new health value, EDX is the player object, and FA is the health offset. 
if you don't know assembly, that's going to be a bit confusing. Um, learn assembly if you can. It'll be way helpful for you, especially if you're going to get in more like more in-depth hacking. Uh, let's find out more about this pointer. So we click more information, and we can see the surrounding assembly around it at the at its address. And it says the value of this pointer needed to find this address is probably C9A000. And what this means is the player object pointer, which is what we're looking for, contains the value C9A000. So we're going to do new scan hex C9A000. And we're going to search for that. Right off the bat, we see three statics, right? Statics are green addresses or green values. The d black ones are dynamic, and these ones will change after we restart the game. These ones will not. Um, I'm only going to be using 50F4F4. You can use any of them. But the reason why I'm using 50F4F4 is because the, um, the entity list is at 50F4F8. And in future videos, this will make things a little bit easier for us. So we're going to be using this one in this video. Um, I could cover how to get all three or how to figure out all three or if they're different, but right now um, that would make that vi the, this video too long and maybe a bit too advanced for all that stuff. So for now, we're going to use 50F4F4. So player, object, pointer. And if you could put in the comments below any requests you have, maybe on hacking topics, I'd be grateful. Um, I'm looking for new things to cover, as always, so that'd be cool. Anyway, so we have our player object pointer. Let's leave this open. You can click stop and close on this, and we're going to just drag this down here so we can see this address. Uh, 50F4F4 is our player object pointer. Inside it are the values that we want to maybe access, such as our player position, our health, our armor. Um, our ammo values and in different games they'll have different things for them but for our case you know our player base will our player object pointer or player object to say will actually contain all of these different things so let's click add address manually pointer and put our player object pointer in there so 50f4f4 F4. and right here the health offset we're gonna put in f8 and already you can see the health value right up here. So we click OK and it's added to the cheat table. And we're going to call this health. Um, we can now get rid of this one because it's no longer needed. This one will this one will stay constant after a change. After you close the game and reopen it, this one will stay constant. And to find out that if it really is the end of the pointer chain, you can right click it, find out what access is this, this address, find out what access is this pointer, which would be 50F4F4, and we see already it gets tons of results. Tons of instructions are accessing it. And we can see right away that 50F4F4 is a constant value, meaning it's not going to change when the game resets. It's being referenced directly as an address. So that usually means that we don't have to worry about it changing and that that is the end of the pointer chain. Now that we've gotten the offset added that we can close that window anyways. So the next step is dissect data structure and this feature in Cheat Engine allows us to more easily look through our pointer to find values that we want inside of the object. So uh, there is reclass and it's a lot cleaner. I'll cover that in another tutorial. Um, but for now, we're going to be using Sheet Engine. So, to use the dissect data structure feature, right click on your pointer, browse this memory re region, tools, dissect data structures, and this is the address box up here. We're going to type in 50F4F4, which is our player object pointer. Click structures, define new structure, click OK. Yes, OK. And we can already see a lot of information in here. 50F4F4 is not populated because that would be the ent entity list, and right now it's null because there or zero because there are no entities in this because I haven't joined a bot match or I haven't gone online. But 50F4F4 is our player object, and if we click here, we can expand and look inside of it. And this contains a lot of information about our player. This contains all of the information about our player. Uh, for the most part. And if you go down to the offset F8, you can see that it contains our health value. And that's the, if we drag this over, you can look in here, 
and you see that our health vet offset right here is still F8, so it matches in here. Um, we're going to look for, and you can close that, we're going to look for our assault rifle ammo and our pistol ammo. So that value is 17. Let's scroll down and look for the value 17, and there it is. And it is now 12. So this address is likely it. So we can do add to address list, and then we can drag this over. Oh, my bad. Drag this over, and this one is assault rifle ammo. This address will also now stay the same after you change or after you restart the game. All right, so we're now going to look for our pistol ammo, ten, uh, which is ten right now. Um, and we already see right away there is the value ten here. So let's shoot a couple times, and we see that it also still matches as seven after you shoot. So this one is likely the pistol ammo. So you can do add it to address list, and we can close this now because that's that's all I'm going to be going over right now. And this is pistol ammo there. So we now have our pointers to health, assault rifle ammo, and pistol ammo. These will stay the same through restarting assault cube, through restarting your computer. Um, they will stay the same. In your game, you will likely have pointers as well, um, and they'll likely stay the same. On older games, sometimes you will have just straight up constant values or variables used um, where you don't even need a pointer, but in our case, we need pointers. Um, this is going to be the end of part one. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions, comments, things you'd like to see, put it in below in the comment section. Like and subscribe. All that fun stuff. Uh, and thanks for watching.